everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well and having a lovely day wherever you are. Today I'm here with a Primark haul video. I've not been to Primark for a good while now and the one that I've been to today, again further afield, I've never been to this particular store before. So wanted to just get out with Toby this morning because the snow's all gone. Yay! Um, so we were able to get out on the road. So I thought I'll have a trip to this Primark and see what there is in store. The homeware section wasn't brilliant. I was a little bit disappointed, but it's the first section that I always like go to first now that I'm in my mid thirties. I love shopping for clothes, don't get me wrong. I could do with a good new wardrobe. We'll, after losing three stone, I could do with a freshen up, but not priority. I have got clothes that fit. So hmm. being a mum and everything, other things come first. I'm afraid this haul isn't huge, it's just a little few bits and pieces that I picked up at this particular branch, so on with it, enough rambling. So the first thing I picked up was this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pom-pom cushion and it's in like a, like a grey and white but it's so soft, really, 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 really soft and squishy. So I've not decided yet where I'm going to put it. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the front room or in the bedroom. I might even put it in Toby's room. I'm not sure yet. But it was only, where's my ticket? It was only £3. And they had it in pink as well. But the pink wasn't the right shade to go in anywhere in my house. But it was still nice. It was just more, I would say it's more of a little girl's pink shade really. But this was really nice. So I got that. Oh, it's so, so soft. And the next thing after that, I got this clean cotton scented candle and this was only £2.50. Oh, it smells so fresh. It's lovely. I'm a sucker for candles. Um, again, because it's white, just a white holder. It'll go anywhere, but it smells really, 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 really fresh. Reminds me of... It's like... A, certain kind of washing up powder but I can't think which one but mm, for £2.50 you know sometimes when you get a candle and you know it's going to smell nice when you burn it I get that vibe with this one I don't know if that's a weird thing to say but I do I get that vibe with that it's quite a strong scented candle for the money and then now I say I'm not one for clothes but I spotted this just like on the way uh, out of the lift and it's just a little grey tea and it, I just thought it was cute. Thank you, next. Uh, just a little slogan t-shirt. I don't have a lot of t-shirts so it was just to wear, you know, just to team it up with a pair of ripped jeans and some trainers and maybe a long chunky cardigan. I thought it would look cute for just an everyday outfit. So yeah, now I got that in, oh the label's just come off. I got that in an extra large which in Primark with this particular brand it's a 14, 16. I'm normally a size, sometimes I can get away with 14 on top, but I am genuinely a size 16. Again, depending on what shop. I just thought for an everyday, just an everyday slogan t-shirt. It's um, okay. Now, I actually didn't realise, it says on here, I think it's, let me have a look. Yeah, it's. it just said that on the ticket. Now, when it went through, on when she scanned it at the till, it actually says it's Ariane, Ariana Grande. So I'm down with the kids apparently, but I had no idea. I just I just got it because I liked the slogan, um, and I just thought it would cute, it'd look cute. But hmm, check me out. So <clears throat> that was the, I only got that item of clothing. That was it. Oh well, two packs of socks. I'm desperate for new socks. Boring, but the necessities. So I got, um, I was going to get a nice little pattern set, but these were £1.80 and you get five pairs. So I've got like 10 pairs of socks in just black and white for £1.80 for each pack. So that was dirt cheap. So I just picked them up just for, just for every day again. These were bags. I got two of them and they, they weren't expensive anyway, but my straighteners, I need uh, like a temperature mat that you rest them on so it doesn't mark any of your furniture. So it doesn't mark any of your furniture. I needed a new one. Now this is actually a pouch as well, and you can you can sit it on top. And they were only one pound fifty full price, but they reduced them to fifty p. So I thought 
I'll get two and then I've got some spares because the one that I've got it's ridiculously manky I've had it for years so I'm chuffed with that because I was looking online at getting something like this and they were a lot more than 50p so I've got two of them and to actually follow that up with it's not something that I would ever thought I would say but I thought why not I actually got a pair of straighteners and they were only £10 now I don't really I don't need them I'm not using them as an everyday tool and what I've got them for for £10 it says I mean nowadays I mean I have a pair of GHDs I always have since they first came onto the market and the pair that I've had I've had them what I've had them probably I bet, I bet I've had them coming up for 10 years and touch wood they're still going strong no problems with them and they're a red pair I love them and but like when I bought them they were 90 pounds back then brand new so if they ever did blow I'm stuck I haven't they're the only pair of straighteners that I own I haven't got another pair of straighteners and it does say on here that the they are ceramic coated plates which is what most of them are now and um, they've got a shut off function auto shut off function and they go from 80 to 210 degrees so which is this, which is like the GHDs I'm led to believe so I thought well for a tenner I might as well pick them up I'll just obviously make sure that they work and I might just have a little test go with them but I just thought for a tenner they're just okay to just have in a drawer somewhere as an emergency backup until I get you know if, if the day ever did came where the GHDs like did break god forbid because I don't know how I'd tame this maid you can't just like whip out 100 quid for a brand new pair of straighteners whichever brand you may get for a decent pair I mean it, these might be all right for all I know I could open these and be like mm, I don't need me don't need GHDs or any of the other brands but I just thought I've seen them they're only a tenner I'll just get them and then I've got them in just as a backup I just thought it was a good idea because I have been in that situation many years ago when because I've had three pairs of GHDs now I had the first ever ones that came out and then I had a pink pair and my pink pair blew a couple there was a fault on the on the model and it blew more than once and I had to send them back to be fair the company was very good they replaced them for me no problem but I was without any hair any form of hair straighteners for like a good fit and obviously I was a lot younger I was in my teens so that was just like hell so just handy to have in I think just as a safety backup I spotted these and I just thought I don't wear like I said today again I've not loads of makeup on but the days that I do I've never used these before but I do when I go out out which is very few and far between when I do put my eyeshadow on you do sometimes depending on how you do your makeup I always usually do my foundation first I never I know some ladies do all their eye makeup first and then go around with the foundation but I've never felt right doing that just not saying it's wrong it's just me personally so when I'm doing my eyeshadow you do sometimes get like a little bit of fallout under here so you've already done your foundation and things so I just thought I've never seen them before and they're only £1.50 and you get 30 so I'm presuming you get 15 in one size and 15 in the other uh, eyebrow cover uh, eyebrow eyeshadow covers there so um, you can sit them underneath here while you're doing you just like hold it while you're doing your eyeshadow I presume and then if you do get any fallout especially if you're wearing a bright color or anything like that and you try and dust it away you're not gonna you're not gonna smudge it everywhere so I just thought they were good and then I was nosy in as a rule I don't really again I'm not really one for wearing a lot of like strong lipstick colours but I do love having them in my collection um, but I couldn't resist these I was looking at the lipsticks and I couldn't believe how much some of the like the bullet star ones were so I picked up a couple I'm trying to open one here I picked up two shades so I've got I think of the same yeah they're the same style so is it luster so that's the first colour that I got, it's very similar to my nail, like a red, well when it's on, it's like a reddy pink, if you will. So I'll try and open it now and get, do a swatch for you. Right. So it looks quite like a deep red, but when you put it on, it's more like a, 
I don't know, like when you can, like when you look at it from the bullet, it's like a plummy, more of a plummy pinky red, which is very my colour. I do like that colour. And I tried it, I put a little switch from the tester in the store. When I rubbed it off with the tissue I had in my pocket, it was, it stained. So I thought that would be very good. And oh my God, the 90p, 90p a lipstick. So ugh, you can't whinge, can you? And then the other one I got was this colour, like a paler colour. And this was, I got this one just more as an everyday. Because this one was a bit paler. If I can get in it. 2,000 years later. Whew, finally got into that one. So that's the other one that I got. And I'll do you a swatch for that. And again, that's like, that's that, that one. So that is a bit more true to colour. But that's like a, I don't know. That's like a pinky, nearly going into like a corally type pink, I suppose. But they are, they swatch, they're really pigmented. They swatch really, really well. So I couldn't get over them. I mean, 90 pence each for those, just to have in your... I, you know, everyday um, lippy, lippy collections bargains. So, yeah. So, that's all I got, I'm afraid. Um, there was lots of things on sale. And can you believe it? They had all their winter stuff was coming, like, going into the sale racks. And they, I just couldn't believe it. I was faced with bikinis, swing costumes, flip-flops. And I was like, really? We're only just into February. It was snowing last week. But, but you, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked everything that you saw, even though it was only a little bit. But like this video and click the thumbs up button below. And if you'd like to subscribe, as I always say, that would be totally awesome. And I shall see you in the next one. Hope you have a lovely day, wherever you are. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Mwah.